So let's talk about America real quick. And this is the country that I live in. And when people talk about making America great, I still wonder what time they're talking about. Wasn't exactly great for the people of my color. Wasn't exactly great for the original people that were here. So when Americans talk about illegal immigrants, they don't realize that this country was founded by illegal immigrants. It's not like you got your immigration papers signed by the Native Americans, right? That didn't happen. So, and this is a high level deal, the devil's in the details, but let's just distill down the history of this country roughly, right? So the founding fathers leave and situation of oppression, seeking for freedom, so on and so forth, come to America and discover a land that already has people, right? And on top of that, shortly after they arrived to seek freedom and talk about this freedom and liberty, they import slaves and use slave labor to help build a lot of the things that we see now. So America's history is not one of freedom and liberty and things of that nature. Even when you look at the Declaration of Independence, 1776, all men were created equal. Well, they weren't really considering men that were colored, right? Now, fast forward to now, and you have people talking about immigration and like they actually have the right to choose who comes and who doesn't. And I get this is a complex issue, but let's not come at it from a sense of morality when we can all look at the history of this country. With all that being said, we have the opportunity to make a new future, but we have to be able to be honest with the history of this country, and it wasn't all good, and there's a lot of, of oppression, there's a lot of things that happened that weren't cool, and History is trying to whitewash that stuff along with a lot of other things because there's a lot of reasons behind that. But I just kind of wanted to say that because it's interesting to hear people talk about immigration and make America great again. And, and I'm not on one side or the other. I think politics is like wrestling and these entities that are, or these actors, right, that uh, play these roles in politics are really just acting on behalf of the people that give them money and the corporations and things like that. So you can follow the money and you can see a lot of the people donate to both sides and those are the ones that really benefit from what's going on. So you can have someone in office and out of office, but it still doesn't matter because certain agendas still happen. The rich still get richer, the poor still get poorer. That doesn't, that happens regardless of who's in office, right? And these corporations are still gonna make money and still do the things that they do. So they can hire politicians to do their bidding for them, and that's the system that we have. You know, it's still legal. It's still something that isn't illegal to do. You have lobbyists, which is pretty much legal robbery and all of these things in our system. So America is corrupt, and we know this, but we don't know how corrupt it is because we're, failed, we're fed all this propaganda from the inside. So that's the current situation. That doesn't mean we have to propagate this further. That doesn't mean we have to have a civil war. That doesn't mean we have to implode. But we have to recognize our history and our past and decide that that's not how we want to move into the future. And once we're able to do that, we can start having constructive conversations and not just peddle these ideologies that are based on falsehoods. Unless you want to really be real and talk about how we really got here. Just my two cents.